You will not believe what I found in the charts. You will not believe what the whales are doing at this very moment. We're of course also going to talk about the reason why Bitcoin went down yesterday, what to expect for the immediate short term. We're also talking about traditional markets and much more. So welcome back everybody. My name is Cristiano bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you're new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. And with that said, guys, let's continue here and let's uh, dive into the shorter time frames first and what you can see here is that uh, yesterday we continued to push into the orange box but we did get a massive rejection here we actually went down from $39,000 down to uh, $36,000 so this was uh, almost 10% in just you know a couple of four hourly candles here and I will talk about the reason why we did that here in a bit but just uh, know that so far the orange box is still holding significance. You can see that we got rejected out of the orange box here and until we are above not only this orange box but also this orange box, I am not flipping, you know, uh, bullish, short-term bullish um, before we do that basically. Now mid and long term I'm obviously bullish and in fact I do have a couple of things to talk about today which is going to tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on here. But for now this is the situation. So we did have massive volatility yesterday and in fact if I go to just five minute candles you can see that uh, we had massive swings here yesterday. Uh, remember these are five minute candles so we swung from 37,600 up to you know $39,000 in just a matter of a couple of what is that 15 20 minutes and then in just five minutes we went from $39,000 down to uh, $37,000 so in basically five minutes we went down by almost four percent so that's completely insane but uh, that has to do with the uh, meeting yesterday. So the Federal Reserve had a meeting yesterday. And uh, of course, when they said something that the market was, uh, you know, thinking was bullish, the price went up. And uh, when they said something or when Jerome Powell said something the market felt was bearish, well, then the market went down. And so this was kind of swinging in real time here as he was having that speech. So... Uh, nothing special came out of this. This was just stuff we already knew about, that they are going to reduce their balance sheet and that they are going to raise interest rates uh, eventually here. We don't have a date, but we know that that is in the, uh, you know, it's in the cards. So we can be prepared for that. Now, as I showed you uh, in uh, two videos, actually, generally when they raise rates, okay, short term, you can have volatility, but with a two to three year time horizon, it has always led, not always, but except for one instance, it has led into uh, asset prices being higher than they were when they started to raise interest rates. So I think this is uh, probably a little bit overblown, but yeah, that's the reason why we had volatility here, basically. Now, uh, let's go back and let's talk about actually the daily time frame here. And on the daily time frame, you can see that the massive wedge we have broken down into uh, or down from, we are uh, where well, we did test on the daily time frame. The previous support now turned into resistance. And also, you can see that I have a trend line here. This is the same trend line I was talking about yesterday in my video. So if you haven't watched that, make sure to watch that. But uh, it's a similar trend line, although this is on the weekly time frame and this is on the daily time frame. So what you can see here is that the Bitcoin price is right now uh, potentially going to be stuck between a rock and a hard place here. We will either have to break the previous support or we will have to break the support down here. So that's going to be something to pay attention to for sure. Moving on to the traditional markets, you can see that, uh, yeah, the traditional markets, again, reacting to the stuff uh, yesterday. So we went down. In fact, we closed at a low yesterday. So now we need to watch this orange line here for traditional markets at 42,037. We will want this to hold in order for Bitcoin not to get dragged down by the traditional markets. And also, some people are still asking me, why do I think that we are going to see a bottom in the vicinity of $30,000? So somewhere along this area, we're going to see a bottom. And some people are saying that we need to see altcoins go down by, you know, 70, 60, 80%. And if I bring out this chart, you can see that many altcoins have already gone down from their highs, uh, these amounts. So you can see that Dogecoin is down 82%, Aave is down 79%, Uniswap down 78 78 on Tron even, Shiba 77 So we're already seeing, you know, these massive drawdowns for altcoins, and we have already seen them. So can they go down further? Of course they can go down further, especially if Bitcoin 
finds a bottom you know below the thirty thousand dollar level here of course all coins are going to go down lower but my point is we're already seeing these massive drawdowns in the altcoins so it's not like they are sitting at all-time highs and we're just waiting for the drops in the altcoins right and that brings me into what the whales are doing and this is insane so i want to show you a metric specifically the dormancy the it's the entity adjusted dormancy flow so what is this well high values means that old coins are moving while low dormancy means that new coins are moving in other words when you look at this chart and this is at a high point it means that the old coins are moving so you know whales whatever have been accumulating and they are moving their coins when this is at a high level when it's at a low level it means that the newer coins are moving in essence the traders are moving their coins but the uh, you know, long-term holders, the people who have been accumulating uh, Bitcoin, they are not moving their coins to the same kind of degree. And so this is really interesting because you can see that right now we are, you know, at a very low level and we have been at these levels before. And you can see that we've been at these levels basically three times. So right here, right here and right here. And once we hit that bottom, and this is also, again, telling me that we are close to the bottom because this on-chain metric is telling us the same. And what you can see here is that we found a bottom in this vicinity also when the dormancy went down to this level and then we started a massive bull phase for bitcoin same thing here this was also very close to the bottom and after that after finding that bottom bullish phase for bitcoin same thing here this was close to the bottom bullish phase for bitcoin now i'm not telling you that this is 100 sure but i'm telling you like this is the data this is history and we can still go down lower this is why i'm telling you like in the vicinity of thirty thousand dollars could be 28 could be 33 could even be twenty five thousand dollars maybe but in that general vicinity i believe that we are going to find the bottom and this on-chain metric is telling us the same now before we wrap this up i want to talk about this massive whale because the massive whale is still accumulating massive amounts of bitcoin look at this just within the last couple of days 22 million dollars worth of bitcoin bought here 22 million dollars bought here uh, almost six million dollars bought here so I mean, this whale, the largest Bitcoin whale, is accumulating Bitcoin like crazy. So this also goes in line with what we're seeing right here, right? It's been a while since he moved his coin. So instead, just accumulating more Bitcoin. Guys, if you want to claim a $4,530 bonus over on Bybit, make sure to use this link right here. Also $3,500 over on Femex. So make sure to use these links if you want to claim those bonuses. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.